Hey, what's up guys? For those of you who don't know me, my name is Tony Florida. I'm a travel vlogger here on YouTube. Today I want to talk to you about my laptop preference for editing 4K videos on the road. There's a bit of a backstory, so bear with me for just one minute to catch you guys up. I've been editing videos on my MacBook Pro 2016 version for the past few years. Unfortunately, on my recent trip home from Taiwan, this guy was exposed to water it has water damage now. I tried to send it up to New York City to Louis Rossman to have it fixed. Unfortunately, he wasn't able to fix it. So I am stuck with a bricked laptop and a dilemma. I had to buy a new laptop. And as you guys know, that could be potentially thousands of dollars. I saw this as an opportunity to try to save some money, go back to Windows. If you're not familiar, Windows PCs and laptops tend to be cheaper with better specs than Apple products. So I did my research Black Friday 2019. I bought this guy the Dell XPS 7590. Pretty tricked out. It has 32 gigabytes of RAM and octa-core i9 processor, which is insane. It clocks in at 2.4 gigahertz and it has a one terabyte hard drive. But why do I have a second MacBook Pro sitting here? Well, Spoiler alert, this guy didn't meet my expectations. I think it cost like $2,500 to buy this. And um, actually, you know what? The funny thing is the Black Friday, like the original price of this is close to three grand, but I got it down to 2,500 on Black Friday. This MacBook Pro 2018 only cost me $2,500. Again, a, like a, a Cyber Monday or a Cyber Week uh, special. And it has very similar specs, but just kills this when we're editing videos. We're going to do that in this video today. Let me go over the specs with this real quick. So this is a, like I said, 2018, mid 2018 MacBook Pro. They're both 15 inch laptops. Um, this has a six core i9 processor clocking in at 2.9 gigahertz. Also has 32 gigabytes of RAM and a half of, half of a terabyte hard drive. So as you can see, they're very similar laptops. You would think that um, they would perform about the same, maybe slightly better or worse when editing the same exact video file, but or the, like the same exact video project, but that ends up not being the case. And that's the reason I'm making this video today to show you a side-by-side -side comparison of these two video, these two laptops when editing 4K videos. And uh, one of the biggest questions I get from my YouTube followers is what do you use to edit your videos? And to let everybody know, I use uh, DaVinci Resolve from Blackmagic Design. It is open right here on both of these laptops. And what we're gonna do is just do a side-by-side -side comparison. We're gonna start and render the same exact project and see what kind of results we get. So I'm gonna get up here, switch the frame to zoom into these laptops a little bit closer so you guys can see what's going on. So just real quick, these are both gonna be exported with the same exact settings, a QuickTime movie with H.264 codec. The native encoder is going to be used. The resolution is 3820 by 2160 and the frame rate is 24 frames per second. And just so you guys can see that, the same thing over here. The only difference I've seen is that the MacBook has this use hardware acceleration if available checkbox defaulted and checked. So I'm gonna leave that there. They're both in the render queue. So on the count of three, we're gonna start the render for both of these simultaneously. One, two, three, go. Okay, and there you have it. I need to make sure you can you guys can still see the screens, but there you have it. The MacBook Pro is done in a matter of four minutes and 25 seconds. This one over here, the Dell XPS is still rendering. It's only at 24% and it has 14 minutes and 22 seconds to go. So, I mean, that was my initial like impressions when I first bought this on Black Friday, got it shipped the Monday after. It's only rendering at 8, 8.5. I saw it go as high as like 12 frames per second, which is less than half of what the export frame rate is going to be. Over here, I'm not sure if you could see it on the time lapse, but this was rendering 55, 60 frames per second. So although they have similar hardware specifications, although they're, I guess, close in price within $500 of each other, the MacBook Pro outshines the Dell XPS, like, what is that? 
five or six times faster rendering the same exact video project. This is going to be going for another 13 minutes. And as a travel vlogger, like this, this video is geared towards vloggers, video editors, all that stuff. As somebody who is travel vlogging on the road, needs to edit videos and upload them on the go, you want that quick turnaround time and you don't want to sit around and wait 15, 20 minutes for a, it's an eight minute and 24 second video. So you don't want to sit around and wait for that when you're on the road. You want to get your video out, upload it to YouTube and be on your way, start working on the next video. So I guess just to wrap up this video, I want to share with you guys a couple things that I learned going through this process. The first and the biggest one is don't buy a laptop or a computer for that matter solely based on the specs. And by that I mean just because a computer or a laptop has 64 gigabytes of RAM and a really really fast CPU doesn't mean a laptop with half as good specs won't outperform it. And that's exactly what I saw with my 2016 MacBook Pro. Um, this guy's still rendering, and if we would have had this in this side-by-side uh, -side comparison, it would have been done minutes ago. On average, I've seen this render out at 20, pretty much the same export frame rate, like so 24 frames per second. Whereas, if you guys remember, this is rendering out at 8 to 11 frames per second. So I guess that just means to do your research when you are in the market for a new laptop specifically look at your use cases for your laptop see if anybody is out there on the internet or on youtube who has made a video or a blog post about those specific use cases that you're going to be using your laptop for and see if there is a side-by-side -side comparison video like this one that i'm doing today to help you guide you to make the right purchase and by no means was this video supposed to be a mac versus windows type of comparison maybe that's what it ended up being but either way at this point in my youtube career i'm going to be sticking with the macbook pro just because of the performance i've seen and this guy's going back to Dell because it is under a 30 day warranty and I'm gonna send it back today. And I guess this video wouldn't be complete without telling you guys how long this actually took to render out. It's at 99% rendering the last few frames. We're still getting, oh my gosh, we're getting, oh, there it's done. We're getting like eight, eight frames per second. Um, it took 18 minutes and 30 seconds to render that video, whereas the MacBook Pro like we said earlier, it took four minutes and 25 seconds. So that's over four times longer to render the same exact video. I hope you guys learned something in this video. I certainly did. I'm happy to have the opportunity to share it with you guys. Again, my name is Tony Florida. I make YouTube videos, travel vlogs. I guess I'm making videos like this now. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.